right, the spirit wanted me to make this video. Got my coffee here. And I was listening to a sermon by a pretty well-known pastor yesterday. And when I hear pastors preach, sometimes I'm like, mm, sometimes I'm just like, yeah, that is true. But one of um, the reasons, the occurrence and the parable of Adam and Eve is so important is because I don't want the picture painted that God just threw people out of the Garden of Eden, or that sin was only because Adam and Eve, that's not the real story. The real story is This is my personality. And you can look at the world in uh, what humans perceive to be 2018 as evidence of this. The universe belongs to me. Right now, this is what I have. I share everything else. And I was looking back through scripture and my personality, and I was like, I am unbelievably merciful and kind. <clears throat> it wasn't that Adam is a name, first of all. Adam meant man. It's more about everything being done perfect and in obedience, but you have to remove time from the equation to clearly understand it, that Adam represents and was God. The Spirit told God, just like the Spirit told Jesus. And the pomegranate was taking on the sin of the world that was already existing with free will. So Eve was already technically sinning because sin is simply according to James, the scripture, and God, if you know you're supposed to do something and you don't do it, that is a sin. If you do something and you know you're not supposed to do it, that is a sin. That is missing the mark. Holiness is obedience to God. God himself was crucified. There have been so many different writings about things and things included that aren't true. Not in this book. This book is 100% true. But in other things, human beings tamper with things. It's just like you have the Power Rangers. Human beings have imaginations. <clears throat> it was the same thing throughout the ages. When you're preaching doctrines, trying to explain why the world is the way it is, it's because people are 
given free will. And all of this has transpired based on disobedience to God of how things will operate at a whole different level of perfection and love so that people see the difference. Having the darkness actually brings more light. It's not that people hate God. Some do. Scripture says that, that they would. Well, that's pretty much how Satan would feel. <clears throat> it comes from a thought process that people are first entitled to anything and then the ignorance of not understanding what you did in your last life reflects in your next life. You will reap what you sow. And it's like that and has always been like that so that people learn to love each other and be kind to each other. So that's where we're at right now. I love you.